Hello and welcome to ICG Trends. Uh, today, in this video, I'm solving a question from Microsoft Word that was uh, included in the sample uh, model question paper of computer operator examination. Uh, this PDF file uh, containing five different sets of uh, practical model questions where uh, is available to download uh, from icgtens.com. Uh, please visit there if you don't have this file already. Each model set contains uh, questions from all the chapters as prescribed in the syllabus. And uh, today in this video, I'll be solving the first question from the first uh, set, from sample set one. I'm solving the uh, question number A, uh, perform following tasks in MS Word. So uh, the question asks us to enter the text for two max. The text is given here. And second, uh, it asks uh, to uh, apply drop cap format uh, with the algebra and font and uh, uh, the space between the drop cap and text as 0.4 uh, inches. Similarly, the third uh, part of this question is to apply the columns layout with uh, different column widths. And the fourth one, uh, to apply border and shading on the paragraph. The fifth one is to uh, apply indent from the left and right. And the sixth one is to uh, set the header Similarly, the footnote, given here and footnote, we have to apply it in the document. So this question, I'm showing it here. I'll be solving this question using the MS Word 2003. And here, uh, because the first question is about uh, uh, typing the uh, text, uh, so I've typed the text here already. Uh, there's nothing much to do here on this first question. Um, but uh, what you should, uh, but what you should uh, take care is uh, the text you type on MS Word uh, must look somehow similar to the uh, text in the question paper. You'll pay attention to the uh, text formats uh, like bold, italic, underline, um, or superscript, subscript, outline, strike through. Those formats you um, take care of and uh, try to make the paragraphs also look a bit similar to the question paper. Now, looking at the question paper, and the paragraphs are not uh, adjacent, they are not joined with each other. There's a big gap between the first paragraph and second paragraph. Similarly, a big gap between the second and third paragraph. That means paragraph spacing is applied. And in our text, we type here, there's no paragraph spacing. So let me apply the paragraph spacing. Because I need to apply it for the three paragraphs, I select the paragraph. Otherwise, paragraph format doesn't need to be selected. Uh, format, paragraph. On the paragraph dialog box, we will apply the six points before and six points after. And the lines between paragraph appear to be one and a half line. So line spacing, let me make it one and a half line line spacing and click OK. So the paragraph now looks like this one. And uh, the text uh, on the second paragraph, this first one ST, the character ST is superscripted in question paper. So hold your control shift on keyboard and press equals to, sim, uh, equals to key. This will superscript the first. Similarly, uh, we have other text to superscript such as this uh, second two ND, hold control and select this RD, hold control, don't release the control, and select this TH, and uh, similarly here, ST. So this way, if you select multiple uh, multiple text, then you can press control, shift, and equals to, to make all of them superscripted all at once. So these characters are superscripted, and uh, the next thing you need to do is uh, a computer. That's here personal computer, but just that a computer. So this word must be underlined. Hold control and press U. So computer is underlined. And these uh, character formatting you can do while you are typing or you can do after, after typing also. 
but it's better to format while you are typing because uh, when you finish typing and you start formatting you may skip some of the uh, formats uh, uh, existing in the question paper okay uh, this was, was task uh, required for the first question for two max now let's look at the second question mm, create a drop cap for a first paragraph drop it two lines down with Algerian font and there should be 0.4 inch space between dropped character and paragraph okay for this question uh, we need to clear the drop cap of the first paragraph place your insertion line inside paragraph somewhere anywhere inside this uh, first paragraph then uh, to apply a drop cap we need to go to the format menu and then go to drop cap menu so this is a drop uh, dialog box for drop cap uh, we need to drop it by two lines so select the dropped and make it by two lines and then uh, the font it specifies is Algerian so open the font list I typed Algeri and uh, found this Algerian at the same time 0.4 inch space between the dropped so distance from text must be 0.4 inches so click OK so this was all the question asked about the number 2 it was for 1 max we have done it and on the number 3 present second paragraph in 3 columns with a line between each column so second paragraph has to be presented with 3 columns uh, select your second paragraph if you do not select the column format may apply to the whole document you need to pay special uh, attention when uh, what is selected there and they apply to drop down box if you do not select if you select and go and open your dialog box then automatically the selected text will be um, chosen on the drop down list so let's go to the columns dialog box now format menu and columns menu it will open the columns dialog box see look at here apply to the selected text because we had already selected our second paragraph and open the dialog box and uh, we require three columns so we choose three and uh, the first and third columns will be one inch wide and the second column uh, four inch so our column width the first column second column and third column they are not of equal size so we need to remove this equal column width drop down box and for the first column it asks us to set one inch and for second column is required four inch and the third column we need uh, one inch again but because the spacing is larger we need here four inch 0.25 reduce it make it one inch one inch and click OK one for one uh, that means there is there will be no space between them to set it one four and one inch first column second column third column uh, if you if there is any uh, value on the spacing the current width of the uh, page or the current width of the text area doesn't allow you to uh, provide any space between the columns so it's okay and what it says and place a line between the line between each columns simply put a mark on this checkbox line between and click OK so this will create the three columns with one inch on the left uh, four inch on the middle and one inch on the right though on the text it doesn't uh, appear to have three columns mm, but look at the ruler this is the first column and four inches middle column and one inches right column because there is no more text for the right column it uh, displays only on the two columns no problem that was what question asked okay this was uh, what as question asks and on the uh, for the fourth question apply 
uh, gray color background and double line border around the third paragraph border line should be of blue color and one and a half inch thick okay for this third paragraph apply color background and double line border we need to go to the border and shading sorry select this paragraph go to format menu border and shading and on the uh, shading because we need to apply gray color background so on the shading uh, from the color choose a gray color uh, for background apply to must be paragraph remember and on the border we need uh, and double end border of one and a half thick so choose double line from this list and thickness must be one and a half this one of uh, color which color it has asked us um, border end around the third paragraph should be a blue color okay color is should be blue so from color choose the blue and click ok so for on the third paragraph, blue color, double line border, gray color fill inside the paragraph. So this was the uh, for one for one marks of question number five. And finally, for question number six, enter history of computer technology as header. So we should apply the header, history of computer. Go to the view menu and header and footer menu on the header let me press the tab here once to go to the center and type s i s t o r y of computer sorry technology this is the header and following footnote uh, for the underline word okay this was for the header so simple and click close the header is set for your document and finally, the second part of the six, uh, question number six asks you to enter following footnote for the underlined word in the third paragraph. So on the third paragraph, we have underlined word is this computer. Place your insertion line just after the word computer. And to insert footnote, go to the insert menu. To, to insert footnote, uh, click on the insert menu. And then let me open this menu and from the insert choose reference and inside reference select the menu footnote uh, so all we need to do is to insert a footnote that's the bottom of page no problem the question doesn't ask us to specify anything else other than just applying the footnote mm, we can click insert here a small mark will be placed just after that word computer here this one and your cursor jumps to the footnote area the bottom of the page area with the same symbol and here you will type the footnote text e a r l y early programming languages were machine dependent okay this was the text required for the footer so finally when you have done all these things the question number six also finished so after you have done all these uh, what your question asks here now save it as word uh, underscore your symbol number in your folder so finally let me save this file file save as on the desktop there should be my folder but because I haven't created any folder yet let me create a new folder and Type my symbol number okay now it's the uh, I'm inside the folder mm. the name of my document will be word word underscore my symbol number five one zero zero three two and save it That's all about the solution of this uh, first question, question number one.
Uh, thank you for watching. Hello and welcome to ICT Trends. In this video, I'm going to solve one uh, practical question of MS Word uh, in Word 2010. You can find another video to solve the same question uh, solved from uh, MS Word 2003. But here now, I'll solve it uh, from Word 2003. The question was, uh, from the set one, from the sample set one uh, of computer operator examination uh, from the PDF file that was uh, distributed from ictgens.com. If you do not have this file already with you, you can download it from uh, the website. Please visit www.ictgens.com. So the first uh, question on this set was from MS Word, and that question asked you to uh, enter the given text. Uh, here, the three paragraphs are asked to be typed and uh, apply the drop cap uh, on the first paragraph with the specified font and specified distance uh, of the drop cap from the paragraph. Similarly, converting a second paragraph uh, into three columns uh, where each column are of different size. The first and uh, last column are of one inch and the middle column is of four inch. Uh, similarly, the fourth question asks to uh, apply the border and shading, gray uh, color shading and blue color double line border around that paragraph. On the fifth question, we are asked to apply the indentation, a two-inch indent from the left and right. And finally, the sixth question requires you to uh, set the header and the footnote. Remember, the question asks footnote, not the footer. Okay, so to solve this question, I'm using a Microsoft Word 2010. If you have Word 2007, the procedures uh, are very much similar. There's not much difference. First, the question asks to enter the text. Uh, let me start uh, the text here. I've already created the text and just paste it on the document. Don't be surprised, I'm not typing it. A software did it for me. So here we have got uh, three paragraphs of text as was asked in the question. And while typing text, as I've already told you in my previous video, try to make your document uh, look somehow similar to the uh, text uh, printed on the question paper. Uh, here, uh, the paragraphs are very much close with each other. Let me add some space between the paragraphs. And also the lines within the paragraph are very close with each other. The gap is a bit smaller. Let me increase the gap also. For that, I can go to the paragraph dialog box and let me launch the paragraph dialog box. This is the dialog box launcher. Here, I will specify six point uh, space before each paragraph and six point space after each paragraph. And the lines inside the paragraph will be of 1.5 lines, one and a half line spacing, and click OK. So this is the text as was asked to enter. Now, on this text, uh, you should care about the character formatting and other type of formats given on the question paper. Like uh, this uh, ST, ND and this RD and this ST, these characters are already superscripted um, by the autocorrect feature of Word 2010. If they are not uh, done automatically, you can select the text and press Control equals Control Shift equals to to superscript, or you can just uh, click on the superscript button on home ribbon uh, of the MS Word. Well, what's left here is now the word computer 
must be underlined. Like the word computer is underlined on the question, so let me underline it. You select the word by double clicking it. Click on the U button on the uh, font group of home ribbon. Or alternately, you can press Ctrl U to underline the uh, word selection, underline the selection. Okay. Uh, for the first question, this much is what it had asked. And finally, the question says to save it as your symbol number in your folder. So to save the file, I can click on the file menu and choose save as. On the save as dialog box, I should save it on the desktop, the folder of my symbol number and the name of file will be word underscore 9851-0032 this dot doc uh, is from previous video when I illustrated solving this question from word 2003 okay I type the word underscore and my symbol number it will be stored inside the folder under my name in desktop folder and desktop so finally click on save button the file will be saved so that's all for the question number one for the first question that's all you need to do now on second question what does it ask uh, create drop cap for first paragraph drop it two lines down with Algerian font and then should be 0 0.4 inch space between dropped character and the paragraph Okay, to create a drop cap uh, for first paragraph, place your insertion line anywhere inside the first paragraph and then open the drop cap menu. Uh, we have got three options here, dropped, in margin, or remove drop cap none. Because we have some more specific uh, values to be specified, we should access the dialog box, therefore choose the last option here drop cap options it will open the dialog box and here we need dropped by two lines with font a l g e r i a and algerian i found it here and distance between distance from text distance of the drop cap from text is 0 0.4 inch and click ok the first character will be dropped and the gap between this dropped character and the paragraph is 0 0.4 inches that's all for the second question now let's look at the third question what we need to do here uh, present second paragraph in three columns with a line between each column the first and third columns will be one inch wide and second column is four, 4 inch okay so select the second paragraph you can click 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 triple click the paragraph uh, is somewhere inside the paragraph will select it after you it's very important to select the paragraph otherwise uh, the whole document will be converted into two columns and uh, this is not what you are supposed to do uh, either you need to insert the section breaks before and after the required paragraph and apply column formatting to that particular section or uh, you need to select it and apply column format. I guess selecting and applying column format is much easier than going through the whole process of inserting the um, uh, section breaks there. After you select the paragraph, go to page layout. Column formatting is the page layout formatting. And from the columns button, you choose one, two, three, or left, right, here uh, because we have some specific requirement we must access the dialog box so go to the more columns it will open the columns dialog box as question asks us we need three column uh, with a line between those columns there must be a line and because our three columns are not equal first and 
the third column must be of one inch wide and fourth column should be a four inch wide therefore uh, we need to remove this equal column with a checkbox and specify the column width as one for the first column I guess we need a very low gap between the space and between the columns and second column must be four inches and third column must be one inches okay so this is going to be our uh, width of the column, column specification and uh, just care what is selected on the apply tool because we have already selected the text and access the command or open this dialog box on in the apply to box it must be selected text well if it is selected text you don't need to do anything simply click on ok now your text is converted into three columns though the text appears to be uh, in two columns only the first column here second column here but still there is another one inch column on the right hand side you can uh, check it on the ruler like one inch on the left and four inch in the middle and one inch on the right if i hold alt key and click on somewhere here you can see the values of the column width okay this is uh, what the question asked. Now, let's go to the fourth question. The fourth question asks us to apply gray color background and double line border around the third paragraph. Border line should be of blue color and one and a half thick. Okay, so to apply the border and shading around a paragraph, we need to select it. Go to the uh, border and shading dialog box sorry uh, please it's on the home tab the borders button and uh, at the end you will find the menu to open the border and shading dialog box just open this borders and shading dialog box and the question says to apply gray color bo uh, shading background uh, fill with gray color and we don't need a pattern just gray color filling is enough similarly for the borderline it says to apply blue color borderline let me choose the blue color uh, double line border find the double line border from this list and the thickness of the borderline should be one and a half open the one, uh, width list and choose one and a half point after you have selected all these and these options on the dialog box uh, make sure the apply to box is selected paragraph and finally click ok that's good so a paragraph here is with gray color filled inside and blue color oh sorry there's no blue color let me check it again go to the border and shading dialog box ah double line border with one and a half but the color is not blue let me choose it uh, make it blue and click ok well now it's okay now gray color background double line border with blue color that's all the question number four required now on the question number five uh, justify third paragraph and apply two inch indent from left and right. The paragraph must be aligned justified and indentation two inches from both left and right. So place your cursor, uh, cell, uh, sorry, place your insertion line inside the third paragraph. And to justify paragraph, you can simply click on the justify button or press Ctrl J. It will be done. And for the indentation, let me go to the dialog box, open paragraph dialog box, and on the indentation box, select one. Sorry, it's a two inches, uh, in the two inches on the left and two inches on the right. I click OK. So this paragraph now is pushed inside two inches from the left and two inches from the right. So the paragraph got only two inches space in in the middle uh, to extend. And finally, the question number six. 
enter history of computer computer technology as header and enter following footnote for the underlined word of the third paragraph so we need to set this uh, header to insert headers you can go to the insert ribbon and click on the error button Word 2010 will open the, a list of available headers, different samples, uh, because the question doesn't specify which particular style you will need. So you can choose any of them. Let me choose this one, blank three columns. And I'm not entering here anything. Just let me remove all of those text boxes and type it here directly. On the middle, I'm typing S I S T O R Y of computer T E C H N O L O G Y technology as header. That's all. I can close the header editing screen by clicking on this red close button. So this is the header text. Finally, the question number six also needs to set a footnote. Footnote. Uh, for the underlined word of third paragraph. This is our third paragraph and in this third paragraph this computer is the underlined word So place your insertion line just after this word computer and Access the menu to footnote to insert footnote uh, Let me go to the insert menu and ah, Sorry, let me go to the reference uh, ribbon reference tab on the ribbon and uh, insert footnote button click on insert footnote button a small uh, mark footnote mark is placed where your insertion line was blinking and now your cursor jumps at the bottom of the page to enter the footnote here let me type early programming languages where machine dependent Okay, this is the uh, footnote text, and that's the last question. So after you do all these tasks on the document, don't forget to save your. Click on the save button on the quick launch, uh, on the quick launch bar, or from file menu, uh, choose save button, so that uh, the file you had already saved on question number one gets updated and it includes everything you have done till now okay that was the solution of the ms word uh, portion from the set one of uh, sample practical question from that pdf file uh, don't forget to uh, click like on the facebook page of ict trends and remember the address is www.facebook.com slash ict trends thank you for watching Hello, welcome to ICT Trends and I'm Suresh Kanal. In this series of videos, we are solving model sets of a computer operator practical examination. And in my last video, I solved the uh, question of Microsoft Word using Office 2003, that means uh, Microsoft, Office, Microsoft Word 2003 and uh, Word 2010. And today in this video, I'm going to solve the uh, second question from the first set. Uh, sample set 01 uh, the question number B and the question is from Microsoft Excel and uh, to solve this question I'm using um, MS Excel 2010 uh, if you are using Excel 2007 uh, this 7 and 10 are very much similar and you can follow the procedure as I demonstrated here and if you are using uh, Excel 2003 uh, you will find another video for that purpose before you start attempting to solve the questions, it's uh, nice if you go through the questions once. Uh, it will reduce the chances of uh, skipping the questions or making mistakes. Uh, the question for Excel uh, in this set was like this. The first uh, question number one, uh, it asked you to simply enter the data into the Excel sheet. And on the question number two, uh, you have to compose a formula uh, to calculate a rate. Uh, for a given condition and condition is given like uh, the, if the number of years is uh, less than five years and the loan amount is more than one lakhs then you will assign 14% rate uh, otherwise 
the uh, rate of interest will be 8%. And question number three asks you to calculate the interest for a given formula. The formula is given as loan amount into loan uh, duration into rate uh, divided by 100. That is the formula of simple interest, PTR upon 100. And, and question number four, uh, you are asked to uh, find out what should be the loan duration, what should be the value for that loan duration if uh, the uh, interest uh, is 80,000. That means to get 80,000, what uh, value should be there in the loan duration? Uh, for this, you will use the uh, what if analysis uh, feature of uh, MS Excel. And the fifth question is uh, about formatting the sheet. You will apply a thick line border around the table and uh, a thin line, single uh, thin line uh, lines for the uh, inner side of the uh, table, inner side of the your uh, used area of the Excel. And uh, the sixth question is about setting the header and footer. Interest calculation should be placed as header, and uh, uh, on the uh, footer you will just apply page numbers. So this is the question and to solve it I'm going to start Microsoft Excel. Uh, this is my Excel 2010 and uh, let me open a new uh, book here. Uh, okay, uh, the first question was about entering the uh, data. So on the A1 cell I'm going to type loan amount and on A2 cell I need loan duration D U R A T I O N loan duration in years and on the A3 cell uh, rate press enter on the A4 cell interest okay and go to the B1 cell and type their values 1 lakhs 35,000 uh, and on the loan duration 7 years and we need to calculate the rate and interest and that's for the on the ne next question uh, to auto fit the column width so that the uh, truncated characters uh, will be uh, displayed you can position your mouse pointer in between the co uh, column header A and B when your mouse pointer changes into this double headed arrow you can double click on the mouse uh, to make it auto fit similarly on the column B and C also if you double click it will out of it or you can just point the mouse pointer on the border of the column headers and drag them uh, to set the column width as you prefer okay uh, this was for question number one uh, apart from uh, entering the text the question also uh, expects you to enter uh, to save this file to save the file you will go to the file menu uh, let me maximize this Excel window now and go to the file menu and then choose save as or alternately you can press F12 on the uh, keyboard to open this save as dialog box and on this save as uh, dialog box you will select the folder yeah, my folder is on the desktop and I need to find the folder with my symbol number so here in this folder I'll uh, place all the files and the name of file as question asked was excel and underscore your symbol number 9851000032 is the symbol number so click save the file will be saved inside that folder with that name so after you save it your uh, the task for the first question is ended that's complete so on the second question enter formula for the rate so that it will be 14 percent if loan duration is less than five years and loan amount is uh, more than one lakhs that means let me just I mean, uh, restore this window so that you can see both of the question and the sheet uh, here uh, there are two results mm, that should be uh, appear that should be displayed on the uh, cell b3 for the rate value uh, let me write it here. I will um, uh, compose the formula later on. Uh, the conditions are the loan duration is less than five years. Loan duration means this uh, second row uh, B2. So if B2 cell is less than, uh, sorry, B2 is less than five years, one condition.
this one is one condition and another condition is loan amount loan amount means the cell b1 and the b1 cell is more than one lakhs one zero 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 so these two are the conditions to decide whether the uh, loan uh, whether the rate will be 14 percent or 8 percent if um, both these conditions are satisfied if both these conditions are true then the uh, the rate must be 14 percent uh, otherwise it must be 8 percent so these two are the conditions and our result is 8 percent and 14 percent so let me compose the formula for this one uh, equals to if for the conditional uh, for the conditional calculation we use uh, if function because it uh, tests a logical test and then will uh, uh, will return the uh, true value or false value based upon whether the, those conditions were satisfied or not if you have only uh, one condition you can direct write the directly write the condition here but in my case there are two conditions so i need to join those two conditions with and we have and a function or or function uh, you will use and when you need um, both the conditions to be satisfied to give the true result uh, you can use OR function uh, if your situation is if uh, when wh any one of them is satisfied you need the true result then you must use OR in my case it is the AND so and my conditions are if B2 is less than 5 comma that is one condition and then B1 is greater than 1 lakhs 1 0 0 0 0 0 so these two are the conditions and we enclose them inside this bracket and join with and now it became only one condition for this if if this condition is true then the uh, rate should be 14 otherwise the rate should be 8 I have uh, skipped this percent symbol here because uh, on the number 3 on the question number 3 you are given the formula of the interest as uh, PTR upon 100 that uh, slash 100 is given on the que on the formula so we are not uh, going to use the percent symbol here when determining rate we'll just uh, specify the number only okay after you type this uh, formula and when it is complete you can press enter okay the rate is applied 8% based upon those conditions we specified uh, that was what you had to uh, you had to do for the question number three sorry question number two the question number two is also complete now question number three uh, calculating interest uh, to calculate the interest the formula is given there it's quite easy now equals to uh, you should begin any formula with equals to symbol and then loan amount loan amount is our b1 this is one lakh thirty five thousand is the loan amount multiplied with you know, loan duration our loan duration is seven years so b2 is a cell for loan du uh, loan duration and uh, multiply this with a rate a rate our rate is eight percent this is the b3 cell and divide it by 100 so this is simply the formula of PTR upon 100 the formula of simple interest and just press enter you will find the 75,600 that will be the interest for uh, 1 lakh 35,000 loan for 7 years uh, in 8% is interest rate so that was for question number 3 now I don't need this let me delete it you select it right click and choose clear the content or alternately you can select them and press Dell on your keyboard now let me see the question number four in question number four uh, change the value of loan duration as necessary to get 80,000 in interest so here now in the interest cell we need 80,000 and we are asked to find out the loan duration right now it is seven years so when it is seven years with eight percent rate the interest will be seventy five thousand six hundred now we need eighty thousand interest to get that eighty thousand interest what should be the loan duration in years so this is something like a what if analysis what the uh, years if interest is eighty thousand and to perform what if analysis uh, in Excel you should go to the data menu 
and uh, in data menu you will find what if analysis button uh, under the data tools uh, group this data tools group and inside what if analysis we have got three tools excel provides for what if analysis scenario man uh, manager goal seek and data table we are using goal seek for uh, this purpose okay this goal in this goal seek dialog box you will specify three values one set cell remember always this uh, set cell must be a cell that contains formula uh, remember this if you place it uh, in some other cell you won't get the uh, desired result so set cell must be a cell with formula and two value in this cell how much we need the question asked us to get 80,000 80,000 and what should be changed uh, to get this 80,000 the question said loan in duration so what should be the loan in duration to get this 80,000 so point your mouth click here inside by uh, inside this by changing cell box and click on the loan duration cell that is B2 after you uh, complete, uh, fill, complete filling up these three boxes you can click on OK see now uh, Excel has calculated and found the correct value of loan duration to get 80,000 uh, the value display is 7.407 so if this is the loan duration in years with 8% interest rate you will get 80,000 so when it is correct you can just click OK uh, this was the solution for the question number uh, 4 uh, we have done this question number 4 complete now for question number 5 apply thick line border around the table and single line for the inner lines now to solve this question uh, select your data area your table and then go to the home ribbon the most frequently co used commands are uh, gr uh, placed on the home ribbon and in home ribbon under this font group you will find a border tool uh, click this small arrow down facing by arrow button to open the list we have got different uh, style of borders here we need thick border outside and thin border inside but uh, if you apply thick border first and then a thin borders all borders then the thick border will be overwritten so first of all we will apply thin borders inside that means the thin line border is applied all around the cell and inside the cells uh, sorry inside the table uh, select it again and go to the borders tool and now choose thick border thick box border for the outside so if you do it this way then you will find a thick line border around the table and thin line border for the lines inside the table that was what your question asked on this question number uh, five that was a one marks question applying the borders now finally the question number six enter interest calculation as header and set page number as the bottom center of page so interest calculation as header to apply header let's go to the Excel and here you can find this command under insert uh, tab in the ribbon and go to the header and footer button click it uh, Excel will uh, switch in the view into the header footer view you can see uh, the cursor blinking on the header area as well as you can see the design tab of the header and footer tools uh, fronted on the ribbon so here you will type the header what was the text asked to enter in the as the header interest calculation okay type here interest calculation and on the footer it asked us to display page number so to go to the footer uh, look at the ribbon there's a button go to footer so click on this button your cursor will jump to the footer and now this is the uh, bottom middle bottom center so this was place what the question asked we came there very correctly pa set page numbers at the bottom center of page so we are in the bottom center of the page and here we will display page number to insert page number uh, on the header footer tools design tab go to page number button click this button once it will display there the uh, code for page number field code for code uh, page number and that's all you can click on the sales uh, outside that header footer box it will return you the page number is displayed on the bottom center 
and the interest calculus is displayed at the uh, top center as a header so that's way, that way we have set the header and footer on our actual sheet well that's all it was what the question asked now finally don't forget to save your file once again because you saved it only when you completed the first question now after you have added so many things and completed all the questions you uh, should save it go to the quick launch uh, toolbar on the office and click the save button alternately you can open the file menu and choose save button here or press ctrl s on your keyboard uh, to save now you can close Excel and your task is complete uh, that all, that's all for solving this question number um, B actual from the uh, uh, sample model question sets and thank you for watching